permission to have a cup with Cindy. Um, we hope you had a great holiday season. It is now 2015. Hard to believe, isn't it? It is. Time flies. It really does. So for, for this edition, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about just the state of gleaners, uh, the state of hunger in Indiana. And so has anything really changed or anything like that, Cindy? You know, Willie, the, the, the tough thing is we all get through the holidays and we all want to give and we want to be a part of the warmth of sharing a meal with people. And that's always a great time of year for all of us and, and a compassionate time of the year. I think the hardest thing is to realize we turn the calendar to 2015 and the need doesn't change. So I think that's, you know, when we talk about it, it's the fact that we can't lose that momentum, that there's still an awful lot of hungry people that are still within need within our community. So we gleaners are working very hard to say, how are we gonna meet that need? How do we sustain our programming? How do we sustain our funding so that, that it doesn't get lost in the fact that hunger's not going away? Mm -hmm. you know, we say it so often, you and me, it's the fact that, that people think, oh, it's just, it's a holiday issue. No, it's 12 months of the year. Um, so, so we're trying to make sure that we keep that momentum that our programming is strong, that we're feeding the people, the children and, and the seniors um, with our programming. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, a thought that just popped into my mind was throughout the holiday season with our awareness campaign rolling out there, we did have a few comments on Facebook asking about uh, kind of the need for food banks, the need for food pantries, that there is assistance out there for people in need. Um, and can you just tell a little, tell us a little bit about the importance of food banks, food pantries, filling that gap? Um, and it's an interesting system. Mm -hmm. A food bank is, is like a wholesaler. We gather large quantities from large providers, whether they be the retail chains, the manufacturers, and then we distribute it out through the pantries. Mm -hmm. So both pieces are very important. A food bank is the, the gatherer, if you will, and then we, we distribute it out to the partner agencies, which are many times your small pantries, your church pantries, uh, the soup kitchens. So both are important. And again, that doesn't change just because we changed the calendar to 2015. We need to support it all. Right. Um, so can you just elaborate too a little bit on um, any programming or any expansion in the programs that are set for 2015 or what are our organizational goals for this next calendar year? It's an exciting time. Again, there's so much demand. You know, as you know, it, as I look out my office, we have a pantry here at Gleaners, and it's grown 29% over the last year. It's just unbelievable how much growth there's been. Well, that's required us to really take a hard look at that part of our facility. So we're excited to talk about the fact that we're going to expand that pantry just because it's so needed. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our key initiatives and objectives this year is to expand our, our community covered pantry out here at Gleaners. The other thing is we're going to sustain our youth programs. Uh, currently we're serving about 10,070 children on a weekly basis with back sacks. That's not going to change. We're supporting 50 school based pantries. That's not going to change. But the other exciting piece, in addition to our pantry, is we're really focusing on our senior needs. We're going to ensure that they get nutritional food, that we're getting more food. 29% of grandparents are raising grandchildren, and can you imagine, Willie, great-grandchildren? So our seniors, we're going to focus on our pantry and, and, and really coming up with some new initiatives for our seniors out there, um, in addition to maintaining and servicing our, our existing youth programs. So what kind of uh, collaboration is set for out there, um, working with other groups that are, that are helping with hunger relief and everything like that? Well, we're working with our Indie Hunger Network partners, which are 211 Connect, it's Sokoa, it's, it's uh, Second Helpings, it's Meals on Wheels, it's Midwest Food Bank. Those are, our, those are the, the people that in, are a part of Indie Hunger Network. Mm -hmm. So collectively, we work together to ensure that the system is working and that there's access for food for people out there. So that's always been a good one. We're working with some of our local nutritional people, the dietetic interns, to ensure that we're constantly looking at nutritional food. Um, so again, collaboration is very important to gleaners because Quite frankly, we can't do it by ourselves, and we have no intention of doing it by ourselves. Right. Very cool. Um, I don't know if you had any 
anything to add or what maybe your personal goals for the organization are heading into 2015? Well, it's an interesting time for me because we're gleaners. I've been here about four and a half years and we're celebrating our 35th year this year. Um, so I've kind of said to the staff, you know, 35 million pounds would be a cool goal um, just because it's 35 years, but that's a lofty one as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we, we received about 31 million pounds, so it's a big goal. So we're doing that. My personal goal is to make sure that we've built an organization that's sustainable, uh, working with our board to ensure that we're looking at what the future is for the organization. So we have a busy year both from a governance standpoint as well as a sustainability standpoint. Very cool. Well, thank you again. And that was another edition of Have a Cup with Cindy. We wish everybody the best heading into 2015, and we hope to see you around the food bank. Thanks. Thank you.